One last area I want to finish up on is... Is it, is it time already? No, we still have a bit... Well, oh, it, the it's, time it's, flies. It's, it's almost three. It's almost three. It's, like it's almost three. three. Okay, three yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Last thing we're going to finish up on is like, how do people kind of break toxic relationships? So and when do you flag that you should get out? It is what I would say. Sometimes you're in a relationship and it's caused so much biological kind of biochemical disruption that you literally can't soothe yourself. You literally can't calm down. Your neurotransmitters are all over the place. You're thinking about this. You're preoccupied. If it's getting to that point where it's actually getting abusive and you're still in that relationship because you just can't get let go, take something don't be too proud yeah do not be too proud take something to reduce your anxiety because what that will do is you'll slowly stop relying on them to soothe you and you can see it for what it is so if it's bordering on abuse take something to calm yourself but down first and foremost if it's not and it is just a case of you're just attached to the wrong person here's what it is in order to maintain that relationship your love for that you have to must you must be loving that person more than you're respecting yourself Mm -hmm. and it, you cannot gain self-respect through bad decisions yeah it's like you, you you're digging the hole deeper so what happens is you're losing self-respect and you're gaining attachment to them and every time you go back to them you lose more self-respect so you lose any kind of fuel you would have to, or any strength you would have to leave them every time you go back the self esteem is going to cost you something and it usually costs you your self-esteem so if you take back the wrong person each time your self-esteem drops, self-esteem drops, self-esteem drops. And then your self-esteem is too low to even have that conversation of leaving them. So you have to break that cycle. And even if you don't have the self-esteem to leave, you make the good and effective decision to do it and you'll see your self-esteem rise. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you have to just expect that it's going to hurt and it's not going to feel right. But your self is, what, what's to gain from that is your self-esteem will slowly rise, slowly rise, self-respect will rise. And it will get to a point where that person you're attached to no longer is attracted, you're not attracted to them anymore. Mm -hmm. But when you go back to them, what happens, self-esteem drops, self-esteem, and they still seem on a pedestal. So you have to see it like that. If I go back, 